So anyways, good morning. Okay, it's chilly. Well, yes, but yeah. that's the yeah. gray. It'll get warm. It'll get warmer. Anyway. 76. At least that's what Rondo said this morning. Now, yours didn't itch until you Q-tipped him. He, has a, he had a lot of crap in there. But it didn't bother me. Well, it looked gross. And you had to do what? Well, if the mirror wasn't there, you wouldn't have seen it. Oh. oh. You didn't even work out this week. No, I didn't. Your voice are hurt. Why is it hurt? Why is it hurt? Did you hit me hard? Oh. Ow. Ah. You have anything to say? For yourself? I don't know. No. Yeah. You're tired. I'm tired. I'm, I'm trying to figure out why I keep getting tired, but I think it's related to eating enough food. Well, we did go to bed later than usual last night, so. Yeah, but not a lot. Well, like 1.30. Like actually laying down, not watching YouTube. Yeah, it was like 1.15 and then, well, you probably zonked out real fast, but. Yeah, I always do. Mm -hmm. But I can survive on like very little sleep, just naturally. Even if we go to bed, like, lay down at 11.30 and we're asleep by midnight, I'm still up at, like, 5.30. No alarms. <laughs> so, we're going to work out tonight, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. You doing arm or legs? I don't know. Figure out when you get there? Yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh, oh, ah. Ah, I forgot. <laughs> Your breath smells like egg in the morning. Okay, so... Kind of got wrapped up in watching television. I have to go to an appointment in 20 minutes. Keys, phone, wallet, camera. Don't need a coffee cup, already went to the bathroom. Yes, so, promise some sort of retrospective thing. I know I've done a retrospective before, but it's just like, let me go get out in the car. So, aside from the actual like rules and penalties and whatnot. I'm definitely really understanding why there's this generalized feeling that football is is a major. It's a it's a it's a it's a changing sport. It's I mean obviously I haven't had much field experience <laughs> at this point, but even being on the sidelines, I just you know, I get caught up in the rush. I forget what time it is. I forget what quarter it is. I mean, I know whether or not it's after halftime or not, but <laughs> that's pretty much that. I forget what's going on. I forget what time it is. Aside from, you know, the fact that we're outside and I can see the sunset. But if this was happening during the actual daytime, when we didn't have, you know, markedly different lighting conditions, then I would forget what time it was. I wouldn't even notice three hours pass by. That's, you know, what else has it taught me? Well, physically it's taught me that my body can do way more than I ever thought it could. It's taught me that, you know, you can't, that someone, mainly anyone, can become something they've always wanted. That life is, you know, one decision doesn't make, doesn't, you know, end everything. Nothing, there are things that are finite. There are things that are, you know, cast in stone. You know, <laughs> while we do have a prayer that happens at the end of the game, I don't necessarily think that while they do use, you know, we offer our thanks for our health to our good Lord at the end, yada yada, I don't necessarily think that you need to be devout religious. You know, I even feel things at the end there. And I'm, I could be farther from the whole God thing. But again, I get caught up in the moment and it's teaching me even more discipline than I already had. And I have what people call an epic level discipline. <laughs> you know, and Brad said it a couple weeks ago. I have epic level restraint, self-restraint or something like that. And I was like, I don't get what that means. And Aaron got what it means. I, don't, I didn't understand. Everyone is running out, is out running today. But anyways, so I have more to talk about in this. I will chat with you guys after my appointment. There's the engine. There's the AC. I, what was that? Oh, football. I can see why it's great for kids. Because one, it teaches them how to be physically respectful of people to an extent. 
I mean, I'm not saying that every football player all the way from grade school or junior high is a model citizen, but I can definitely tell that it can probably help correct some, you know, maybe issues, some anger issues or whatnot. I definitely know that it physically exhausts me and I, <laughs> I'm like, I just don't have, you know, I don't have the energy after practice to care, to worry. I'd never met these guys before. And it's only been five, this is January 11th, so come June 11th, we'll be two, three, four, five, six, five months. I've known these guys five, less than five months and I would consider them family. I mean, I'm already going and doing what's considered extracurricular activities because they mean that much to me. The, the, the team mom that, you know, brings the water boys and ball boy and whatnot, they, you know, I'm helping her move her business. Um, her sister is moving and I'm gonna help pack up her truck because, you know, that's what people do can even bring about the camaraderie feel. But even so, in terms of like a physical, like an, an actual learning for life less not life lessons, but like academic knowledge, you know, you gotta learn math. It's not, you know, not calculus, but you've gotta have what I call terrestrial distances. You can spot yards. You know, if you play long enough, even I'm starting to kind of notice, oh, it's about 10 yards away. Because I sit there on the sidelines and I see the distance 10 yards is, because they're perfectly marked. They have to be marked. You get the idea of speed. Yeah, they're measured in usually like 40 yard increments. You know, how many seconds can you do a 40 yard dash? But you know, and that could equate, you know, the good ones equate to about 18 miles an hour. And I'm up to like 12, but I'm also faster than most of the guys. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. And so I can definitely tell that like my nephew is gonna probably get a lot out of it when he plays with uh, Pop Warner. Pee wee football because he's grade school. It allows people to gather around a common thing. It's like Trekkies. They have their conventions. I remember Trekkie. I haven't been to a Trekkie convention in a while. But, you know, comic book people. It's just that a game is game. It's just a football con. Just happens to happen, you know, every week. It, you know, gaming groups have game night. I know my old roommate, Eddie, he went out weekly, spent four or five hours over to a friend's house playing D&D. Technically, that's no different, except the fact that only is like six people. I'm going to a game and I'm spending two or three hours around 50. Well, there's 55 on the roster, but you know, we'll go with about 30 on, you know, at any time. And I would have to say, in conclusion, that there's something for everyone to learn, whether or not you go into the military or you do this in middle school, but it teaches guys and girls. There are, there is a large number of female football players, full contact fo football players out there. And I commend them for breaking past the gen gender barriers. We'll go with that word. That it teaches pride. It teaches the reduction. I mean, technically you have a number, and that's your number. One, you, you, that is you. You are number 85, you're number 17, you're number 44, you know, you're number 93. No matter, that's your number, at least for that year, depending on what position you play, yada yada. And then the colors, you know, even if it's just solid black with like accents of red, or if it's white, or royal blue, or you know, whatnot. It doesn't matter, those are, those are the colors you're representing. That number is you for that little bit of time, you know? Guys, like, I've talked to some guys on the sideline, the only reason they learned to do laundry was because their parents made them wash their own uh, gear, their undergear, their whatnot, their, like, their girdle and their under armor, their socks, their jerseys, their pants, you know, and they shined the helmet to keep it shiny. And if it was one of those that was shiny, you know, they'd have to make sure to keep the, the mouthpiece, you know, they have to keep, learn, they learn upkeep. So that's that. This is why I think people should play a team sport, or specifically in my case, football, because it teaches so many life skills. But yeah, that's that for today. That's my opinion. I will check you all tomorrow. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm home, it's the outro. Remember, I'm gonna try to do this thingy where I talk to y'all. Anyways, so yeah, you can click here, click on my face, 
and that'll take you to, I'm going to try to find something really close to a year ago. About a year ago is when Aaron and I went on the 4G trail for the first time, but I think there's stuff closer to the, uh, well, I'll find something. Um, try not to show the 4G trail again, maybe the day after that, I don't know. So yeah, uh, while in respects to yesterday, if you watch every day, um, yeah, the dev blog was posted today about the ship. Um, the duty officers may come tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe there's a dev blog later today. But yes, I want the cruiser ship. I really want it badly. Very, very, very badly. Um, I may even have to unpack my thinger. <laughs> unpack the Corvette so I can get the console off of it because there's a two-part console. Anyways, I'm not going to go into that right now. I'm just saying it's amazing. There's a link below if you follow Star Trek Online. Um, anyways, so yeah, I will chat with you guys tomorrow. We'll try to get more Aaron in. Um, for all of you that are wondering why he and I don't technically kiss on camera, it's not because it's because I headbutt instead. It's I've always headbutted. I've headbutted my mom. I've headbutted Chris, I headbutt a lot of people. It's not necessarily a kiss, it's a it's a love. I don't know. You can call it with the autism thing. Also, freshly in the morning, his bre he has breakfast sandwiches, so his breath smells like sausage and eggs, and that's just, those are like the two things in a, a breakfast I just don't eat. I'll eat bacon, I'll eat pancakes, hell, I'll eat spinach for Christ's sake, but I just don't eat eggs and I don't eat sausage. And he has those in his breakfast sandwiches, so yeah. Because they were running, but... They were working on something, and then... Well, they were probably working on this generalized how to defeat them in general. Hmm. I mean, they don't just go somewhere and wait around. They're probably trying to coordinate with others and get them to be safe. That's what I was saying, is I want to know what exactly they were working on. Oh. It might have just been the, like a resistance cell sort of thing. So anyways, good morning. Okay, it's chilly. I'm well, yes, but yeah. that's the yeah. gray. It'll get warmer. It'll get warmer. Anyway. 76. At least that's what Rhonda said this morning. Now, yours didn't itch until you Q-tipped him. He, has a, he had a lot of crap in there. But it didn't bother me. Well, it looked gross. And you had to do what? Well, if the mirror wasn't there, you wouldn't have seen it. Oh, you didn't even work out this week. No, I didn't. Why does it hurt? Why does it hurt? Why does it hurt? Because you hit me hard. Oh. Ow. Ah. You have anything to say for yourself? I don't know. No. Nah. You're tired. I'm tired. I'm. I'm. Trying to figure out why I keep getting tired, but I think it's related to eating enough food. Well, we did go to bed later than usual last night, so. Yeah, but not a lot. Well, like 1:30. Like actually laying down, not watching YouTube. Yeah, it was like one fifteen, and then well, you probably zonked out real fast, but yeah, I always do. Mm -hmm. But I can survive on like very little sleep, just naturally. Even if we go to bed, like lay down at eleven thirty, and we're asleep by midnight, I'm still up at like five thirty. No alarms. <laughs> but anyways, so we're going to work out tonight, right? Oh yeah. Okay. You doing arm or legs? I don't know. Figure out when you get there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Aga. Ah. Ah. Ah, I forgot. <laughs> Your breath smells like egg in the morning.